I'll see you, little chicken. Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. Eddie here. Minecraft Realms. I've been on a little bit the last couple of days. Haven't been out of record. And I'm struggling with this a bit because I'm going to record it because I can just about see what I'm recording because I've got my screen on massive size. <laughs> But I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit it very well. So it be, might just be a bog standard editing, but bear with me because that is the bit I've got trouble with at the moment. What with DX Tory and the mishmash of stuff I'm using, it's becoming entertaining. I'm on my own again. I've been on three or four times the last couple of days. Always on my own. Nobody here. Hello, Clyde. Pulling still over the other side. Yeah. Up. Oh. Been a little busy. Uh, ooh, can I go that way? Oh, yeah, good. So I want to kind of do that. So I'll go beep, bop, beep. There you go, screenshot. Built myself a tower. Kept in thing with these stone bricks for the roofs over there. Over where? Over there. So this little change. This top half of a fugly house will change. I can see it happening. Because my tower comes up now. I've got windows halfway up. The bits and bobs, these were here for a reason. They don't need to be there now, so I can claim them back. So you can see out the windows. See, look at that. Look at that for a view. Is that not lovely? That'll be nice. I can see down in there. This one just sees across to the lake, and this one's like rubbish. So we won't look out of that one, but we will go flying up. Do a bit of a bit pop up here. Close the trap door behind me. So we can see better from up here. And look at that. It gives great landscapes from up here. We now have a working beacon. Which I've managed to get working. Uh, so I built my tower, done my beacon. Done a turn of fishing. Out of bit of luck with the fish, and I tell you, Oop, let's go back up, 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 up. Got glowstone up there, but I don't trust stuff not spawning. So, 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 so again, it's a so-so episode. It's gonna be one of those. My eyes have kind of relapsed a teeny tad. Been a couple of changes out here. I've got these wooden posts coming down. There. Oh, that that did vine up. That's nice. These wooden posts had to move me light across to allow for the tower. Yeah, me always relapsed a bit because the steroids I'm dropping in them weren't often enough. So I need to increase the drop rate to try and get myself to be able to see a bit better. One eye is cleared up, which is good, but it's the eye with the cataract, so it's not a lot of good. <laughs> It kind of does the job. But it makes seeing creepers very tricky because they're green on a green background. I want a red creeper texture I can stick in here so I can see the buggers what they get me. And yes, I have been got a couple of times by them. Doing a quick scout around. Oh, Devon's been on. She's seen. This is the trapdoor down to the goodness. This is the room got iron in there in case this needs changing it's currently set on I've got no idea I did have it on regeneration and speed it looks like it still is speed and regeneration but I knocked this little room out There's little stairs everywhere just reversed them down there glowstone and quartz near the stairs quartz stairs Guy's stone just done on the engines and there's half slabs. Or slabs. Didn't have enough iron to do the whole lot with what Devon had set aside. So I thought, I don't know, I'll put the gold down the corners, give it a bit of character, fill the middle up with gold and then just enough iron to do the outside. But I quite like the way it turned out. The only drawback to it is boop top block of water had to be taken off 
So I put glass up the middle now, so there's no glowstone left in the fountain. And there's a clear blue glass on the very top to simulate the water. But well, that's as close as I could get. Oh, that's a bit thingy, that's alright. Uh, da -da 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 -da, nothing on my bit. <laughs> so that is what I've done there. As I say, with the editing problems, this may not be the world's longest episode today. But I want to kind of catch up what it was on about. Devon got confused when I was made. No idea how them chickens are getting on Sapphire's roof. When I said that was a beacon, it's a torch beacon. Basically, it's big flames up there, see it from a distance. Just so we use like a visual sighter before this comes into play. But I forgot this would put a big beam of light up, so. But now, this is where I wanted the beacon beacon to go because it should. Still got a bobbly heart stretch right into the back of Home Sweet Home then. We can come up here without creeper and everything. Look at that, didn't look back at the door. Oh, that's better. That is so much better carpet. Oh, that doesn't hurt my eyes, I like that. Still bobbling. Still bobbling. Let's see if the... Yes, yeah, so we come out of range there. Still out of range. There's only 40 block range on these, see. And I wanted Home Sweet Home to definitely be in the range of a big chunk of it. We may have to instigate Devon's other one before too long. There we go, so it comes in there. So about here. She goes up, move away from this light, still goes up, move a bit further away, goes down. So that is the line. See that line, Devon? That's where you regen when you, your speed boost kicks in. Literally, if you follow this line beside your bookcases and your emeralds, Straight across there is your region line from the beacon. Should have moved the fountain nearer really, shouldn't I? But it's not bad. It gives a fair boost of speed when you're in there. I mean, we could take region off and put speed 2 on, and that just goes silly then. And I think I could be a bit careful around there. This is usually creeper alley from over there. Still got regen? Yeah, still got regen there. And there. So I'm going there, that was a really short day. I still got it there. Nope, still got it. There you go. The other line is just before this mushroom. So basically, the jungle tree is the other line. So there's a fair distance from the beacon you can get but they're not universal so we can stick a few of them around <laughs> with a fighting for me because I must admit I've only ever fought one with and that was with mods and I still died about eight times it was rather brutal to say the least and look that is still oh other. I was going to say that is still a perfect sunset up there, unless I fall off the top of it of course. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Don't know how she gets these chickens on the roof. They just appearing overnight. No idea why. Boom. And where should we have it today? Should we have it that way? Boom. There you go. Let's me have a screenshot. Everything's happy for screenshots at least. <laughs> See if I can get me to do it. Yeah, sorry this isn't going to be such a long one. I've had one of the most manic weeks you could possibly imagine. All sorts of issues happening here. None of it to do with me or direct family. It's kind of 
Um, let's just say a little bit extended family. But massive amounts of pressure, worry and all sorts of stuff. And all that just aggravates my eyeballs because it just inflames them even further. And constant headache. But I'm getting rid of them. I'm working on it. <laughs> I've got one under control. Let's get the other working. Right, let's just check this way. See how far out this way it goes. Should be about 40 blocks. Creeper check. See that? They hide in there. <laughs> and they will get me. Let's have a look. Whoop. No. 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 Exciting this, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. So, it's about that secret area. And, for some reason, a snowman shack. I noticed while fishing. Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, he went. There was a snowman in there. Quite why we had a snowman in there? Why? No idea. Somebody collecting snow, I would guess. So we're out to there this way. Now, well, let's check out the other side. This bridge is absolutely awesome. I think it really is good. The only drawback is that when I'm fishing over here, I could fish under my other bridge. But I'm not changing that. It's lovely. I like it. Fishing tackle box. Play and fish again. Loads of other fish. A saddle. Two more lucky fishing rods. So they'll come in handy. I also picked up an enchanting book protection something on it, Feather Falling 4, which I might need for my next set of boots. Well, these were I'll keep these ones going. But I'll have to have a look. If I don't need it, I shall donate it to the chest up in there. Uh, what we're doing? Oh, we're checking beacon. It should be alright to about here, I think. Boo, 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 boo. Yep, back up again. Wait, back up again, check for creepers. This is probably outside its range. No, it's still in. What about Scoop's place? Can you get it? No, just outside Scoop's place. So we're kind of looking. edge of the market. Literally that line there. So we have got a nice beacon area which will give us speed. Um, which isn't good when I've got poor eyes because I run and I run straight into these things. Two seconds. Right, where was I? Oh, that's right, yeah, I was doing the run around which isn't going to work because I eat food. And I'm glad people are eating the chicken because it will overflow up. <laughs> I've had to empty some of the fermenter out because I get a little out of control. It is really balancing well at the moment because it's not too many and not too few. But now I've eaten, see, so I can go on a racetrack. Which got me into another idea. Yeah. I might build a racetrack somewhere. Don't know where yet, but somewhere. I'll have to find myself a nice bit of land. Ooh. Oh, I missed. I went over the top. So, yes, that is also in my plans to make a little racetrack somewhere. For horses, for pigs, for running around. Probably never get used, but it'll be fun doing it. There you go. Power 4, Sharpness 3, and Feather Folding 4. Now, I've got Sharpness 3 on there, so if I combine it with that, it'll give me Sharpness 4. But then I'll lose the Power 4. We've got Power 4 on there, which gives me Power 5. 
but feather falling four wouldn't give me feather falling five. So it's only either the power or the sharpness I would use on that. Tempted to bump the sharpness. But let's let's have a, a little jump up here for a minute. Oh it's terrible. It's just the temptation is there all the time to get an egg and throw it. I can't resist. It's a target. <laughs> Need a target on the roof. I can see me coming up here. <laughs> this place being covered in chickens. Sapphire's got her own back. Oh. Uh, let's hope she misses this episode. Well. Gee, oh, yeah, she's never. In fact, I've got to render this bugger. I'm going to call it there, everyone. That's kind of what I've done the last couple of days. Here's the tower. That torch beacon. I did finish off the stables and finish off the stables roof. The stables are just a mimicking of the first one, and the roof is kind of a mimic of that. I will give a better look next time I'm here, probably, because I can't really see too good from here. But it's just doubled the stable size. It needs a bit of Devon decoration because when she went in and put bits and bobs in my first stables, it transformed it and made it look brilliant. So I've left that one for a bit of her finishing touches. And that's all I did over there. So I've done that, I've done that. I've done the beacon and the beacon room, which hopefully is what Devon wanted. I think it's just what she wanted. If not, it's easily changed. You just bung a bit of iron in the slot, choose what you want, press the green tick, and it changes it. Well, we can see we've got a big range of goes from over there to over there, up and through there to the jungle tree. That's a big chunk of town covered. So, jobs are good and just need to get one that's creeper proofing. <laughs> that's what we need. Anyway, I'm going to call it there, everyone. Have a brilliant day and I shall see you next time. Bye!